you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching yes like i would always say that uh, it's getting more interesting as a uh, uh, the story of a uh, lie Mohammed uh, who asked uh, DJ Switch to apologize for misleading the world. Uh, but report now uh, vindicates uh, DJ Switch and um, lie Mohammed now uh, is you know very very you know ashamed or himself. Uh, but as it says, uh, this is not the best time to be a minister for uh, Mr. Lai Mohammed. Uh, yes, it's not the best time as a minister. You know, Nigerian Minister of Information and Culture, uh, the, it would probably be uh, the most uh, tormented day of his ministerial appointment. Uh, since the report of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on the NSAS protest was uh, submitted and uh, made known to the public, the 309 pages of the report uh, go against uh, everything the minister has said in past one year since the incident happened you will recall that mr lai muhammad attacked the dj switch by calling her several names and asking her to apologize for misleading the uh, world uh, with false information which uh, the informations were true uh, i do not believe what uh, uh, lai muhammad has said about the lekki massacre you know by you know trying to change the narrative saying that no uh, gunshot was uh, uh, was sporadically you know shot on uh, the protesters and the citizens of Nigeria, especially the pro people that were protesting. Uh, he also condemned the report of the cable news uh, and that of uh, CNN as misleading. Uh, unfortunately, they were all accurate, and the minister was wrong. Uh, yes, he was wrong. Uh, it was it, it wasn't that he was wrong. He knew quite alright that he was saying the wrong thing, and he knew quite alright uh, that uh, he, he is uh, just trying to change the narrative. Uh, not one thing uh, the internet national organization to know all the world to know what is really going on in nigeria because they will lose a lot you know by violating the uh, fundamental rights of uh, uh, the citizens the ministers uh, in his words says one of the uh, purveyors of fake news was one uh, dj switch uh, the switch has been indicted by the uh, this so-called lai muhammad uh, whose uh, real name uh, is a uh, lai muhammad and indicted dj switch uh, dj switch uh, she bears the name obianuju uh, catherine uh, Hude, even though she claimed authentic evidence of mass killings and uh, surprisingly instead of uh, presenting whatever evidence she may have uh, she chose to escape from uh, the country on the claim that her life was in danger uh, she will soon be exposed for who uh, she is at the end of everything Katrin was right yes uh, that was the story uh, Lai Mohammed gave us uh, that uh, he, uh, she rather uh, just switch to run uh, instead of giving us the real evidence uh, but the real evidence is now unveiling itself as it is uh, further from that, uh, the minister described the incident at the toll gate as a phantom massacre, saying it is the first massacre in the world without uh, blood or bodies. Uh, he also faulted the claim by Amnesty International that no fewer than 12 protesters were killed in legal state by security operatives during the NSAS uh, protest, as well as attacking CNN for publicizing uh, fake news. Wow! CNN at that level. Uh, Lai Mohammed also had uh, accused uh, CNN of uh, publicizing uh, fake news. Uh, well, meanwhile, the Human Rights uh, Rights Association of Nigeria, uh, Huriwa, has called for the dismissal, arrest, and trial of Alaji Lai Mohammed uh, for alleged uh, force as to what happened at the Lekki Toge, a legal state, on October 20th, uh, 2020. Uh, the organization claimed uh, that the minister lied to Nigerians, adding that his claims have now been contradicted by a judicial panel in Lagos. Even if the minister is not going to be sacked or prosecuted, he needs to be ten uh, he needs to tender an unreserved apology to the entire nation and also uh, the world at large. And he, he Lai Mohammed, should also tender apology to CNN and try you know to broadcast it on national tv or there about social media or in social media and those uh, to apologize to everybody and also uh, uh, reiterate his, uh, so, uh, his speech or statements you know uh, concerning uh, the so-called uh, Lekki massacre because he said uh, there was nothing like Lekki massacre and there was not nothing like uh, a, so, a sporadic gunshot uh, there was nothing uh, like uh, the soldiers you know carrying even gun uh, no weapon was carried let alone shooting uh, he said the soldiers only were trying to you know uh, barricade the 
protesters uh, that was what a uh, lie and uh, muhammad told us uh, the narratives mm, i could hear it vividly because he even said it very very clearly even on uh, rice tv channel tv and you know some other uh, platform uh, where uh, lie muhammad even gave us the blasphemy propaganda though i never believed all this from lie coming from lie muhammad uh, by trying to eat indict uh, uh, Lai Mohamed. Well, uh, I believe uh, everything in Nigeria will soon, you know, come to uh, 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 betterment or come to the betterment of uh, the citizens of Nigeria. Nigeria is a fraudulent force, a zoological zoo, a country according to Namde Kanu. Well, our politicians are all uh, criminals. Uh, well, uh, that is what it is uh, because of position uh, Lai Mohamed uh, surely uh, believe uh, that he will not leave that position. Uh, come come sun come rain come shine whatever uh, definitely uh, you cannot stay in that position forever now uh, you will be telling the masses lies to justify failure of your government uh, what a shame that is very true uh, because the real um, issue now is that uh, uh, the so-called uh, appointees or rep let me say those that uh, were appointed uh, you know by this so-called uh, buari um, they are trying to you know try to justify uh, their uh, wrongdoings and their incompetencies just because all the peanuts have always said it that they are trying to justify themselves you know because they are eating from the round table and they are eating crunches uh, which is uh, because of the position uh, they occupy today uh, definitely uh, they are trying to tell the masses lies to justify failure of uh, their government well from the comment session uh, so many people you know have been you know very furious and curious uh, to also speak uh, well i will allow you even to you know comment in the comment session because as it is i know you want to hear your opinion also concerning this because everybody is trying to you know get the truth and get the fact and today we have gotten the fact and uh, thank god for the uh, legal state uh, lekki massacre uh, judicial panel uh, that was created and they have already you know uh, listed out uh, the names and uh, also the numbers of the uh, victims that were involved in this uh, so-called massacre and truly uh, the panel released that the, uh, the massacre uh, during 2020 you know on, on october 20 uh, was uh, a real one it wasn't like uh, the soldiers uh, were blackmailed uh, but at, at, at his, uh, as it has been said sorry uh, they would say uh, the so-called uh, military or personnel or uh, the soldiers uh, that were involved in this uh, need to be or needed to be brought uh, to book uh, we will start looking for them definitely uh, but as it is uh, dj switch has been vindicated nigerians and the so-called uh, the youth uh, during that instance protest are, are also vindicated well uh, it is it was a peaceful protest and that is why they are trying to change the narratives i mean the present administration led by buari and the party all progressive congress apc they have really done a, a whole lot of havoc you know jeopardizing the effort of the citizens there and they are living under the taxpayers money either you you like it or not either you know or not the fact remains that everybody is paying tax you know and uh, up to the that up till uh, a day old baby a uh, paying tax because everything we buy have been inflated anything we do have been inflated you know prices have gone up even the uh, the so-called uh, little sweet tom tom baba blue that the children buy you know they they are inflated so automatically or indirectly directly uh, we are all paying uh, tax and they are living on the taxpayers money and still uh, they believe uh, they could you know uh, uh, genocide and uh, nepotism uh, could be the order of the day which is you know not really really you know i've not spoken well of nigeria so that's why they want to hide the truth so that where they go to borrow money or where uh, they go where they could be justified and uh, they will not they may not borrow their money again and that's why the united states you know decided not to even uh, give or sell ammunition to nigeria again not just because of the oil or not because they are they are not paying back their debt but as it is they have violated uh, the human uh, right uh, which is embedded in the constitution well i would like you to share your comments in the comment section thanks for listening and god bless you